What's up, Bears? The dream has come true. Sora is now in Smash. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now complete. Sakurai, you can finally rest. Or can you? Now I know what you're all thinking. But Ray, you have Cloud. You have Sephiroth. You have Richter, damn near killed him. You have Big Krom. What more do you want? Now, now, hear me out. I'm not talking a new character, or even a new stage, or even new content. Now that Smash Bros. Ultimate has been complete, there is just one thing that I want. And that is a complete edition of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A physical release of said complete edition. Smash Bros. Ultimate is something that may never happen again in gaming. Dreams have come true. Sora was the ultimate dream. And now those dreams have come to fruition, there is just one problem. All of those dreams are locked behind a digital paywall. A digital paywall on an online service that Nintendo can turn the Switch off tomorrow. Just like that, poof, the dream is dead. Nintendo does not have a good track record when it comes to their online service and preserving it. Can you access the Wii Shop anymore on the Wii? No? Well, luckily most of that content was multi-platform. Smash Bros. Ultimate is not multi-platform. There needs to be a standalone physical release of all Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Complete Edition with all of the DLC bundled on a single cart. This will make the dream last for as long as people can preserve it. Which is a hell of a lot longer than a digital service when a company decides it's no longer worth keeping the lights on. A fully bundled release in one package will also make things easier for parents who may or may not be fully in tune with digital content. All of these fantastic characters can be introduced to new generations. I talk with kids who play Smash Brothers all the time. They have no idea who Kazuya is, they have no idea who Sephiroth is, and not just because they're in a game they may not have played, it's because their parents haven't downloaded them. They just have the base Smash Brothers Ultimate, which is a dream come true in its own right, don't get me wrong. But all those fighter passes are sitting in a digital void that is at the mercy of Nintendo and licensing. A good example is Marvel vs. Capcom 2, free NBC2 by the way, hashtag. That game is licensing hell, where multiple parties have their hands in the cookie jar. Because of that, you cannot buy it on modern hardware more than 20 years after its release. Hopefully that gets rectified soon, but the work that is required is astounding. Even if it gets released on modern hardware, how long will it stay? Physical release out into the wild only requires licensing the one time. After that, it's up to the end user. And the time to do it is sooner rather than later, while you still have the rights to these characters. Strike while the iron is hot. Bring out a physical release of Smash Bros. Ultimate Complete Edition before it's too late. This content is too good to be locked behind a digital paywall.